see, then that's not even what you're supposed to be voting on. Yeah. You're not that's supposed to, to vote yeah. on whether or not you approve the policy. It's the report. Okay. Receive and file. Right. Okay. Mary Williams. I'm here on behalf of my grandson, Keith Bursting. He was killed on June 10th, 2016, during a police involved shooting. Keith was a passenger in the front seat of an SUV, traveling eastbound on Slauson. As the SUV pulled in, the lot from Brian Hurt northbound. The black and white officer pulled in also. He was a driver. He got out, he spoke to the driver of the SUV. Then the officer exited the car. Then he spoke with the backseat driver, who he took out the car, laid him on the ground behind the SUV. Then the officer, I'll just use the name CK, was talking to Keith. As Keith exited the SUV, moving slowly, due to a previous injury that he had sustained on 427, and was ambulating, he was, he was not a threat. He didn't have a weapon on him. This officer refused to use anything but excessive deadly force. Keith, when he went to sweat first Keith, Keith turned to run, and he was only running to the wall between the blue and the gray car. And that's when he was shot. He was shot in the back, which was his second shot. The shot in the back moved down through his small intestines and up to his abdominal aorta. There was no chance for Keith to survive. The blood was flowing too rapidly. Quick, I noticed that the police arrived minutes before the ambulance were back up. When they did the ALS and CPR, they placed him in the unit. They never made a change, so he was already oh dead by striking the him on the AR. The video was confiscated by FID from the liquor store by Detective Peter Stone. It was brought back to the store. Go ahead, go ahead. It was brought back to the store on 613. Detective Rogers called and said, I was I was sitting viewing the video at the time when Rogers called and said we made a mistake and we need to pick up that box. But we're going to give you a better box. And that's, that's what they did. I read the statement that Los Angeles police put in the L.A. Center, Chief Beck, it was you, that said on October 6th, the stating that LAPD did not have to release videos that was confiscated from the business because the video didn't belong to the police department. But in this case, when the video in the box number Serial number TZA two M A O two four zero 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 two three. It became the police property when they exchanged the box out and took the box from the store. Mm -hmm. I heard the statement that Chief Fact made saying he protect his officers like they bulletproof vests. It's okay to protect your officers, but when they're wrong, they're wrong. I also understand that the officer made a statement when he got back to the state station, and he said that Keith had a smart mouth, and I think I've had run-ins with him before. So many times, there's a breakdown behind that blue wall of silence. I just want to ask you guys to look deep in your heart and examine this and think about it. I'm Keith's grandmother. Keith don't have a mother. His mother died when he was young, and I raised him. And I didn't raise him to be a gang member. Say his name. Keith Bursey. 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 Say his name. Keith Burs